now it's my privilege to go a bit more into the detail of, of the U.S. government response to TB control internationally, and specifically the role of USAID in contributing to international TB control. The, we, we are working under several policy frameworks, and I just want to highlight first and foremost that we are very cognizant of the need to contribute globally to the Millennium Development Goals and the targets that they have within them for tuberculosis. They're, they're noted here and they've been described. Also, um, Haim, the previous speaker, was able to describe for you the Lantos Hyde authorization um, that includes authorization for $4 billion over five years for, for TB. When, um, the, when President Obama announced the Global Health Initiative, this reinforced the U.S. government's um, keen focus on the importance of international global health. And we have all been really pleased that tuberculosis is a key feature of the Global Health Initiative and has continued to be supported within what we call the GHI. The, the initial targets within GHI were that over six years there would be $2.2 billion for, for TB. Of course, these are different times where in a financially very constrained environment, we are really looking to innovation and trying to hold fast to the targets that we set for TB within GHI, which is to successfully treat at least 2.6 million cases and to diagnose and initiate treatment of at least 57,200 MDR TB patients. USAID is the lead agency for international TB control. We rely heavily and work closely with, with the OGAC, PEPFAR, for the TB HIV collaborative activities and, and the ability to leverage the resources that are available under PEPFAR. With CDC, they are the lead for domestic TB, but they also house really important technical expertise um, in surveillance, in MDR, in infection control, in, in operational research. So we tap into that and we um, work very closely with them in some of the, the settings where we work overseas. <coughs> NIH obviously handing off some of their research, um, the, the work that they've done that need to be rolled into field trials. There's a handoff between NIH and, and USAID. And then obviously the engagement of the Department of Defense where they have amazing lab capacity in many of the countries where we're working. And on the note of success that it is possible even in these tough countries um, and we feel that we can continue to scale up the lessons learned um, and move toward universal access. Thank you.